Patrol, Party of Five, Bailey, former favorite, tortured soul, poor Sarah, won't do it with him for two nights in a row. Take a look at how he treats her. Take a look at this clip. Sarah, it's all the stuff that comes along with it, you know? The feeling that you want me, the feeling that you trust me, and the feeling that we're actually that close. And after we've had all that stuff, then anything less than that, it's just not enough. What, what does that mean, that it's not enough? I mean, maybe we should, maybe we should take some time apart. Two nights she was in the mood. Two nights. Please welcome selfish Bailey Salinger. Scooter, let me say right off the bat, you are lucky that this show, ladies, please, <laughs> remember what he did to Sarah. <laughs> you are lucky this show is running late because I can't be as mean to you as I would like to be. That is unbelievable. Below Daphne? Yes. When you did that, to, you almost killed Sarah. <laughs> I know. You almost killed her. Know, so it was a little drastic after, after two days, but a man's got needs, you know? Oh, come <laughs> You should be understanding. No, it was about more than that. It was about the trust and the, the, the love. Oh, yeah, right. No? I can't stand it. Tell me, tell me they're going to get back together. That was Yeah, simple. well, they, they spent an awful lot of time uh, getting them back together. So yeah. I'd say it looks pretty good. Yeah, they get because I know in, in the episode that they didn't see it, but I did because I <laughs> illegally got the tape. Yeah. Um, you get back together after Owen's missing at the mall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, guys, I think, in general, don't change until they actually have to change. Right. And so he experiences by uh, uh, seeing what he sees in the hospital that he would actually be ready. If, if a child needed him to take care, he would be able to do it. And so that's all Sarah really needs. Well, let me just tell you this. Daphne, who I formally did not enjoy, she did surprise me on the show. And yes. I fired that producer. She, um, <laughs> in the hospital scene when she named the baby Diana, I kind of enjoyed She's that. Sweet. She's that, great. She's then great. She got like to know, know the baby and to love the baby. Yeah. I'm starting to enjoy her a little bit. That might be trouble. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not saying anything. You, you, I'm not saying anything. You thing. will tell me at the commercial. <laughs> you understand me, Scooter? No, they're, 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 it's good to see. I like the fact that Daphne and Charlie's characters are doing well. Yeah, they better. Yeah, yeah. they have a baby. They have a baby. You'll tell me everything I need to know at the I will tell you everything. But you and Sarah Jennifer love Hewitt. Mm -hmm. You guys, are, you have good chemistry. Yeah, it seems like, uh, you know, it seems like that's all I heard this summer was, you know, are you and Sarah getting back together? Yeah. And uh, and it's good. I, I'm glad that that Bailey's in a, a good, healthy relationship. You didn't like some of the girls Bailey's been with. No, exactly. I'm glad that trampy drunk woman <laughs> hit the road. <laughs> that one with the kid out of there. Yeah, she's yeah. gone. She's, she's history. Gone. But you, I think the fit, right, reason you guys have such good chemistry is because you've worked together before. We, uh, <laughs> no. Yes, God. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. I beg of you not to show this clip. <laughs> we found. No. You, you don't know what you're getting yourselves into. I Scott, <laughs> honey, just let me just say this, sweetheart. This is for all the women who weren't in the mood two nights in a row and had to take <laughs> crap from their husbands, boyfriends, or spouses because of it. Roll the embarrassing clip of you and Jennifer <laughs> Love you. <laughs> take a look. I'm sorry if I was rude, but I didn't know you guys were friends of my brother Billy. All I knew is that you kept bothering me when I wanted to be alone. It must be tough, coming to a new place and having to make new friends. Moving wouldn't have been my first choice, but now it doesn't seem so bad. Oh, that's some good stuff. That's unbelievable. That's the school of eyebrow acting. Eyebrow acting. A lot of <laughs> eyebrows going on there, you know? What show was that? Uh, Kids Incorporated. Yeah. Kids Incorporated. How Which long is did you do that? Uh, I only did this one episode, but I played twins, Billy and Bobby, and we did this split screen stuff. And it was, it was maybe, if not the first, one of the first couple of things I had ever done. Really? And, uh, and Love was singing and dancing, and she was great. Now, you grew up in Jersey. How did you get into this whole movie thing? Um, got out of school, and, and really, I had studied business, and I knew I wasn't going to really be able to put on a coat and tie every day. And I needed to do something creative, and so I started studying acting and just, just 
fell in love with it, really. And then it, as soon as I had found it, I had finally had that feeling like, I know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Right. And your brother's into acting, too, right? Yeah. I have a. Because uh, there was a picture of you, you two. You look sort of alike in oh, the yeah. People magazine. Look. Let me show that. Your little cutie patootie brother. Yeah, that's and little Gary. cutie patootie you. You sort yeah. of look alike a little bit. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's my, my best friend in the world. He, um, He's an actor too. We 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 actually were really close growing up. I have I have a brother Michael and a sister Jessica as well. Um, but Gary and I are the closest in age, and so growing up we were all, always sort of joined at the hip. And do people mistake you for each other? Because you do sort of look alike. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it, uh, I'll I'll have friends of his come running up to me in Los Angeles and just sort of grab me from behind, like hey, and I'll turn around and they'll realize that it's not Gary. And, yeah, not good. And, yeah, we, we, we do look alike. Our whole family has a Same with our family. My sister goes food shopping in, in New Jersey where she lives, and mm -hmm. people go, hey, Rosie. She's like, it's not Rosie. They're like, come on, it's, Ro it's not Rosie. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> they don't it's believe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they think that it's, it's me in, in disguise, but it isn't. Right. I just want to know this, um, you, the show. Mm -hmm. Going to be any more problems with you and Sarah? If there are, I'd like fair warning. Scott, you have my home number. <laughs> uh, I'd like to be known, you know, known what's going to... I think things are going to be uh, pretty steady for a while. I think yeah. that was, you know, uh, uh, a lot of people felt like that was pretty, not a whole lot uh, going up. on yeah. for them to break up. Like, yeah, that really exactly. wasn't two, worth a break. Two nights. Two nights. She has a headache. That's two 48 nights. hours. It's a, a little hey, she's not okay. in it's the mood for two long nights. Time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think they're going to do just fine. And are you going to make it up to me in some way? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. When, we're going to come back afterwards? Yeah, we'll take a commercial. All right. Yeah. Well, when we come back afterwards, um, I actually felt really bad. I can't stand losing you. Yeah. So I wrote a little song for you that I'm going to sing when we get back. You wrote a little song for me? Scooter. <laughs> you know I enjoy a boy who sings. Have a t-shirt. Thank you. We'll be right back with Scott Wolf singing right after that. Scott Wolf, Bailey Salinger, on Party of Five. We've now been here for four days. I'd like to thank the audience. <laughs> now, Scooter, what did you prepare for me? What is it? I've, an opera? An aria? What I've is it? A little number. A little um, number. I brought a, uh, a guitar. Now, wait, do you actually play the guitar? Uh, hey, fans of the guitar. You actually play the guitar? I play the guitar a little. I'm actually a drummer. Yeah. You're, you're a drummer. I'm a drummer, too. Next time, you Next and me. Next time, we're going to play a little drums. little paradiddle, all right? But uh, uh, I play a little bit of guitar. and. It was important enough to me to yeah. get, I couldn't really write a song to the drums, so yeah. this is the best I can do, and I'm hope it's, I, I hope it's enough. Okay, Scooter. You okay? You need a little throat thing or a little... I think I'm little all right. You're okay. I think I'm okay. All right, honey. Okay. <laughs> Rosie, I know you are mad at me For breaking up with my girlfriend on TV So I wrote you this little song to make up for what I did wrong Rosie, please, don't give up on me Don't give up on me, R-O-S-I-E Wow, that's There's more. Great. There's more! There's more! Okay. When it comes to Party of Five, I know how you feel But you've got to realize that it's not actually real <laughs> See, I'm, I'm an actor and in real life, we're friends. I know you don't really get that, so I'm here to make amends. Okay. From now on, before I do something worse, I'll make sure the producers call you first. So remember, when you look at me, I'm not a jerk. I just play one on TV. Don't give up on me, R-O-S-I-E. Everybody! Don't give up on me, R-O-S-I-E. Scooter! That was delightful! Horny, horny! You actually have a beautiful voice! Oh, come on. You do, you sing well. Oh, that's nice. Have you ever done musical theater or anything? I haven't, but I think I'd like to take a crack at it. I want to, but I need to work on my voice. I, I sort of sing up in here, and you kind of really need to. No, be... that was nice, John. Wasn't that nice? Do you smell a record deal? 
I do. I don't know. Maybe a video. No, it could be Bailey sings love songs to Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Just think of it. Think of the CD possibilities. You're a delight. Come back whenever you want. I would you love know that. I adore you and your program. Thank you.